Hey guys, this is Fidel Master Michel. Today I will be solving advanced checkmates and explaining the solution. But also I will try to explain how could the thought process be to find the solution if it was a real game. Keep watching. Okay, we are playing as white here and well, first of all we are going to work with checks always and this time there is a typical mating pattern, this is Bottom's mate uh, there is this check, queen takes c6 and after the pawn captures we have bishop takes a6 and this is a very nice uh, typical mating pattern so queen takes pawn and bishop takes a6 this mate with the two bishops so let's go to the next this time we are playing as black and one more time we want to analyze checks first of all so there is this move rook takes pawn opening white king and after king takes rook which seems to be the only move because if the king goes back to u1 we will have mate on h1 so after king takes rook we will play rook h8 the king will have to go to g4 and then what? Well, uh, we have some moves like, for example, queen f5, but then the king can go to h3, and then it's not completely clear how we win. Probably we are winning, but it's not completely clear. However, I'm f I'm working with this R move uh, instead of queen f5. There is this R check, rook h4, and this is very strong because I'm opening this line when the pawn captures then the queen could go to g2 and this is going to be checkmate so this is a nice mate actually so I will play it, rook takes pawn opening the king, we continue with checks and then we deflect this pawn a little so we can mate on g2 Oh, actually I, I made a blunder here, I didn't see the, the king is escaping but well we have mate anyway with queen f3. Okay, well, let's go to the next. Well, um, it is black to move. I'm analyzing moves like a uh, knight g3. This is a check, and this is, uh, as I said, uh, the first moves we want to analyze. And after the pawn captures the knight, I don't see any clear way to mate. I'm going to work with another check and it is this bishop takes g2 and this one seems to be very strong because then the rook has to capture and then the back rank is going to be very weak we can play rook f1 and rook takes rook so that's the way to win bishop takes g2 one more time is a check and rook takes g1 why to move here and this is a a tactical, a typical mating pattern we just saw in the first puzzle in this video and in the, it is this idea of Bottom's mate so we can just play queen c6 and after the pawn takes bishop a6 with checkmate with the two bishops okay, why to move here and well, uh, we, we want to analyze the checks so moves like queen f4 uh, seem to be fine but not clear also there is this idea of bishop g5 which is very interesting because I'm forcing the king to go out so my rook can join the attack getting a tempo so this is a very special move here bishop g5 if he takes rook g1 and it's, it's going to be made very soon but we need to analyze what happens if he doesn't take because he's not forced to capture our bishop however if he goes to h5 we could be playing queen f3 king takes bishop but then um, there's no mate I think so we can play rook u1 king h6 and then there's no mate here so uh, bishop g5 king h5 then what 
We can still play queen a7, king takes bishop. I was trying to avoid queen a7, so I, what, I didn't want to put the queen on the edge because clearly it's not controlling as many squares. But since queen f3 is not really, I couldn't make it work, I would try to analyze this queen h7. So king takes bishop, and then we should be playing rook g1. The king will move somewhere on the f-file and well that should be checkmate soon so I will play that line yeah it's a little long uh, the sequence after I check with the rook then I will be checking uh, somewhere over here and then somewhere over here so it seems like it's winning so I, I'm just going to play it so win a7 then we set rook g1 and well if the king goes down then we cannot check on f7 but we can check on g6 we don't want to capture with the queen because the king can go to a safe uh, area over here so uh, we want to capture with the rook this time and that will be made soon I guess it moves like queen check and rook check uh, are going to be winning very soon the king is completely discovered we have a rook and a queen attacking giving checks so this is going to be winning in some moves. Okay, uh, why to move here? Of course the first move I can see in this position is king g6 because I want to give checkmate with a uh, rook b8 later but we need to analyze here a, a little because when we play king g6 uh, black king is stalemated so black king cannot move so maybe uh, black can try some crazy rook idea here sacrificing the rook to get a draw so king g6 for example black can try I don't I don't care too much about a uh, rook f6 because I can just take with the king and then we break the stalemate the king can escape over here but after king g6 there is this, this nice move rook b1 this is very interesting and the idea is that if I take uh, that's the crazy rook we shouldn't take it because it's going to be a stalemate so what do we play then I'm thinking after rook b1, this idea, rook f7, I'm threatening mate, but even if he defends, I can still play rook f8 because I will be simplifying and we will be playing king and pawn versus king and it will be winning with the king here, we will be playing king h7 and it's winning. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way to play here, so I will play it here and then rook f7 is the move we said then rook f6 if he trades we will capture with the king on f6 to break the stalemate and well this is winning already okay why to move here well we have like like a queen down in this position and well also like a rook or the exchange down so we have a lot of material down but we have uh, two minor pieces also this bishop is helping from the distance in the attack so maybe we can uh, get some good compensation here and of course the first move we want to analyze in a situation like this are checks so pawn takes pawn is the only check I can see right now after pawn takes pawn black can play two moves king e7 or king takes g7 but after king e7 I have mating 1 so I'm assuming king g7 is the main line here then we will play rook g1 we continue with the idea of the checks and well mm, king h8 uh, is mate with knight f7 king f8 is mating 2 with rook g8 king e7 knight f5 and king a6 it's going to be mating 2, we continue with checks, this is a fourth in sequence, knight f5, king h5, and bishop f7, checkmate. So I think uh, we covered all the lines, oh, we need to cover one more. So pawn takes pawn, king takes pawn, rook g1, black can also block with bishop g5, but that's not really a problem after black blocks we capture rook takes bishop there is a pin here so the bishop is hanging on g5 
and then the, all the other lines we said. So king f8, rook e8, king h8, knight f7, and king h6, also knight f7. So let's play it. Then rook takes bishop. Then check, and checkmate with a knight. Okay, well, we need to analyze checks. So knight e7 is the first move we want to look at. And then black will play king h8. And then we have this typical mating pattern we call Anastasia's mate. I suggest you to work with typical mating patterns. There is this uh, playlist in my channel about that theme. And it could be very helpful in the playlist. There are the 12 uh, most important typical mating patterns, also the most uh, common or frequent mating patterns we can see in chess. And it should be really helpful, I guess. So uh, there is this idea of knight e7, king h8, and then rook takes pawn. And this is Anastasia's mate, as I said, the knight controlling here and here and the rook checking on the edge file. So I'm just going to play it. So check, check, and check. Black can cover, I mean, black can block a little, but we are fine. So it is white to move here, and well, this is a very nice puzzle. One more time, we want to analyze uh, checks, first of all, but when we see queen takes knight, it's not really working, just King takes queen, and after some check, black can just block. There's no problem for then. The other check here is queen takes pawn, but after king takes queen, there's nothing. So the checks are not really getting too much this time. So when the checks don't help, we want to see the captures. So we're going to analyze a move like queen takes rook. Right now in this position, we have like a piece down, but we, we could be getting the piece back but uh, black is attacking the queen, so it's not going to be so easy. So we are we are analyzing captures, and we can play a uh, queen takes rook, for example, getting a whole rook. But after knight takes queen, uh, there's nothing. We can play some check, but black is blocking very easily, and they are fine. So the captures don't seem uh, do not seem to be extremely strong, and then we need to find threats. So this is the order: checks, captures, threats. And we need to find moves threatening things. And well, actually, I have seen this puzzle before. I'm not finding the move right now, but uh, still, it's extremely interesting. Uh, it's one of my favorite advanced checkmates here in chess.com. And the threat here, the strongest threat in this position, is this one beautiful queen g8. The threat. Then is a uh, queen h7, and it's really hard to stop that threat. Black will have to capture the queen, but that's what we want because once the rook, once the rook is here, is blocking the escape of the king. So we can play knight f7, king h7, and then rook h5. And this time, as the king cannot go over there, it's going to be made. So the way to win here is that move, queen g8 that beautiful move and that's just to win it. So I will play it so you can see it on the board and this is a beautiful checkmate. Okay and here we are playing as white and well another mating pattern we want to mention or remember is the Arabian mate and here we have some variation of Arabian mate in this position. The idea is that uh, we can remove the defenders, I mean remove and deflect the defenders of c6 and then our knight could be going there and then with knight and rook we will be able to play Arabian mate. So let's see, uh, as always we want to analyze checks first of all there is this check, queen takes b7, the rook will capture and then we can play knight c6. The king will have to go down to a8 and then rook d8, rook blocks, rook takes rook. So let's see it on the board. Queen takes pawn, knight check, rook check, and Arabian mate. Okay, and here we are playing as white. We want to analyze checks. So there is this check on e6, there is this check on 
h7, one of them is probably the best move. After queen e6, I can see the king comes back to h8, and I don't see any way to make progress. So I want to take a look at this uh, queen h7, then king f8. Yeah, this looks fine. I play queen h8, king e7, queen takes pawn, and then black has two options, either king e8 or king d8. It seems like king e8 is going to transpose probably to the line of king d8. So after king e8 we just play queen g8, king e7, queen f7, and we go forcing the king to go back. Once the knight can join, getting a tempo with check is going to be perfect. The king will have to go to c8 and then queen e8. So that's the idea. We give some checks, and uh, we force the king to go a little back and then we join the knight. The pawn is going to be really helpful controlling these squares, so black king cannot escape. So let's play that. So queen check, queen check, queen takes pawn. And well, they stop the line here, but you know, we just give some more checks, probably over here, forcing king d8, so the knight can come over e6, and it's going to be winning. The question for today, which is your favorite mating pattern? I would say mine. I really like Bottom's mate. I find really interesting how the bishops control the squares around the king. So let me know yours in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Help my channel with some like if it was like that. Subscribe so you get notifications for my next videos. Never stop believing. See you in the next. <laughs>